Hi guys, what's up? It's Matt Guitar Guy here with you. Today we're going to have a look at probably my all-time favorite song. I know it's a favorite of so many. The song is Purple Rain. It only contains four chords with the exception of a fall that occurs near the end of the song, but we're going to take a look at all the little minute details that make this such an amazing song. I ask if you find any of this content valuable, please make sure to click the like and subscribe. And with no further delay, let's jump to the other side and take a look. So as I mentioned earlier, the song only contains four chords. Our four chords are going to be that first chord, which is the one of the key of B flat. That is the signature chord that we hear at the beginning of the song. That chord is a B flat sus two. The next chord is going to be an F sus four with a G bass. It then falls to a F major chord, just our regular. F major chord and then we go to our D sharp or E flat major okay if you're familiar with the number system our first chord that B flat sus2 is our one that F sus4 with the G bass is our six our F major is our five and that D sharp or E flat major is our four. So let's break down what's happening in that first chord. With our B flat sus2 chord we're going to arpeggiate the, that chord backward and all we're doing is playing each note individually backwards and there's a fall that occurs just after that and that fall is with on our G string we play that B flat to an A on the G string So what happens next with our F sus4 with the G bass, if we start to think of our chords in three parts, we have a bass, we have a middle, and then we have a high or top. We can, be, we can then begin to extract somewhat of a melody out of just that one chord. Okay. Okay, so what's happening in our F major? On that first pass through, we have a hammer on that occurs. It's on the third of the chord. So we will hammer on with her second finger to the A that occurs on that G string. And from there we have a, a pullback or we're falling back, we're arpeggiating from that B string all the way back to our E string. And then a scratch that occurs. And to create that scratch, all I'm doing is muting the strings and, and raking the pick across the strings. And from there, we're going to slide up to our, to our D sharp or E flat major there.
Okay. And that is the chord structure for our verses. So walking through what happens in the chorus, our chorus we're going to start on our four chord, which is that D sharp or E flat major. And fall back to our one at B sus two. To our six, that F sus four with the G bass and then to our five, which is at F major. There's a pause here. Then we're going to end it on a B flat five. From there, it starts over with the verse. So really those are the two parts of the entire song. You have that verse section along with the chorus section. As I mentioned earlier, there is a fall that occurs here at the end of the song. Uh, near the end of the song, we're really playing that verse part out. And what we're doing there, instead of just going to that D sharp E flat major, we're falling back. So it's like uh, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one. Breaking that down, uh, breaking down the chords of that, we're just playing five chords. So we're playing that D sharp or E flat five to a D to C, to the B flat, back up, and those are all the components of the song. I hope you enjoy the acoustic version I've recorded and please use it as a reference, play along and practice uh, playing the song with it. Hope you guys enjoy.